So this is Christmas in barbed wire, and it's also in, influenced by the story that I read about where there was a truce between the German and the French, it might have been the English actually, on Christmas Day, where they both decided to stop the fighting of the trenches, and it was quite unbelievable. Christmas in barbed wire, gas of mustard seeds in a muddy grave, the fizz of copper cones steady as the rain, the fire in his fingers soon will calm the heart as the lids will close on the shameful spectacle. Wire of thorns among the shriveled roses, a torrent of red and gray will flow near the boots, reflected by a sad moon full of grief, of anger. So many hearts stopped in weight of the sound. The commotion returns as the stone hits metal with a soft thump mixed of silence and prayers. Lids open onto blue and green and gray and black. Droplets venture upon the soot, carving deep crevices. On the ruined faces of lives not yet loved a moment, and the tears, too, cry in certain agony as they mirror the sorrow of a thousand spirits, still holding onto a vague nothingness in moonlight. Gas of mustard seeds, a copper piece in the flesh, dearest memories of hours never spent of a time frozen somewhere in irreverence along a river that forgot to run its course. Standing dark against the black sky, shapeless, a man dressed in mud, fleshy matter, and a steel hat, looks for his soul somewhere on the field, seeks the light of a life which ran away. When he could not look, when he was not allowed, they bought it for nothing but a pile of bones, found in a hole where he thought they traded his, in the desolation of a world never completed. Home, he dies, the shell of a war that never burst, the shell of a man who remained a boy of 20. At 56, he dies of sweet gas and mustard seeds and copper gifts from another for a Christmas that never was.